In this video, I'm going to show you how to access Control Center on your iPhone 13 or any iPhone that does not have a home button. So on previous iPhones with home buttons, to access Control Center, you would swipe up from the bottom of the phone. And now that gives you your app switcher. So in order to access Control Center on these iPhones, you need to find the upper right hand corner and then swipe down from there. So now we have Control Center. And if you want to get out of a control center, you can swipe up from the bottom or you can find a blank space with no icons and tap on it. Now, just to show you, this is only for the upper right hand corner of your phone. If you pull down from the upper left hand corner of the phone, you're going to access the notification center. So again, control center is from the upper right hand corner of your phone. Now, two other things to note. So I just showed you how to do this on the home screen. That's what this screen is called. Now, if you are inside of an app, for example, you should also be able to do this pulling down from the upper right hand corner. Now, if you don't want that or that didn't work for you, you can go to your settings app and then scroll down until you find control center and tap on it. And then here it says access within apps, allow access to control center within apps. When disabled, you can still access control center from the home screen. So I'll just show you here if I turn this off. Now, if I try to pull down, it just gives me the notification center, it looks like. So if I turn this back on to enable it and I pull down, then I get the control center. So you can change that setting to whatever you prefer. And then the final setting is on your lock screen. So if we press the side button here, and now our phone is um, sl asleep or whatever, the screen is off. If you tap here to wake it up, you can see this little sign here. It says that it's currently locked and I'd have to swipe up to unlock the phone. So if I swipe down from the right corner now, I have the control center again. Now, if you don't want that to be accessible unless your phone is unlocked, you can, let me unlock my phone here. Um, you can go to the settings app and you can scroll down. And now we need to go to face ID and passcode. So if I tap here, I'll need to enter my passcode. And once I've done that, I get access to this screen. And it says that if we scroll down, allow access when locked. So control center is noted here and it is enabled. So if I don't want the control center to be accessible when my iPhone is locked, I can turn this off to disable that. And now let's see if I go to lock my phone. And now the lock is locked, so it's locked. If I pull down from the left-hand side, nothing happens here. I can't access that control screen. Now if I use Face ID here, now you see it is unlocked, and now I can access the control center. So that is the first way or the standard method for accessing the control center. But as you can see here with these larger phones, it can be kind of a stretch to get your thumb up there to the upper right hand corner to access the control center. So I want to show you two other ways that might be easier for you. The first is if you look at the bottom of your phone here, these four icons is what's called the dock. Now, if you start your thumb and you swipe it down on the screen, starting from the upper point of the dock. So let me just show you that. I'm going to press here and swipe down. Then you can see how the top of the screen is basically pulled to about halfway on the phone. Now, if you don't do anything after a few seconds, it will revert back and move the screen back up. But if we do that again, I'm gonna swipe down on the dock you can see there, and now I can a little more easily pull that upper right hand corner down and then it gives me access to the control center. So let me show that one more time here. Swipe down and then I can swipe down again. Now, do note that where you put your thumb first um, makes a difference because if you put it too high up, like especially on the apps here, you're going to get to this search page. 
And even if you start kind of a little too high, sometimes it will also go to the search page. So you might take a few tries to get used to it, but eventually you should be able to access that upper right hand corner a little bit more easily. And again, that should work whether you're on the home screen like I just showed you, or let's go into an app. Now you don't have the dock there, but hopefully you got a feel for kind of where you can start this swipe down. So I'm gonna do it somewhere around here. And you can see there that that worked within an app as well. Now, if I go to my lock screen, now uh, it just unlocked with my face ID and I can do the same thing here, swipe down and then swipe the upper right hand corner. So hopefully that helps you if you do struggle reaching up there in that upper right hand corner. Now this feature should be turned on by default, but just in case it's not working for you, let me show you how to set it up. So you can find your settings app and tap on it. And then you're gonna to need to scroll down until you find accessibility and tap on that. And then under physical and a motor, you'll find touch and tap on that. And then this is the setting you're looking for. It's called reachability. And it says swipe down on the bottom edge of the screen to bring the top into reach. So this should be green, which means it's enabled. And if it's not, it'll be gray and you'll just need to tap on it to enable it. And then you should be able to do that little swipe and then you can get the control center from there. Now, finally, the last method here is actually if you double tap on the back of your iPhone, so something like this, tap, tap. Now I'm gonna to try to do this here, tap, tap. And you can see there, the control center just appeared and I did not have to touch the screen at all. So I will say that this is a little bit unpredictable in where you tap and how quickly you tap. Um, so I've found that for the iPhone 13 at least, you have to tap just above the Apple logo and then you have to tap pretty closely in succession. So something like tap, tap. So I'll go tap, tap. See, and it doesn't always work the first time. Tap, tap. There we go. So it is a little bit, you have to get used to it and it might not be a, uh, 100% success rate and if you have a case on it might also not be the best but it is an option that I wanted to show to you and again if you're in a app tap tap it works there and again if you are on your lock screen tap tap it works there as well. Now this feature is not enabled by default so if you want to use it or try it out you'll need to go to your settings app and then scroll down until you find accessibility and tap on it. And then under physical and motor, you'll want to tap on touch. And then here at the bottom, you should find back tap. And it says double or triple tap on the back of your iPhone to perform actions quickly. Now you can go ahead and tap on this. And you can see you have options for double tap and triple tap. So whichever one you want to add to, you just tap on it. And for example, yours probably would say none. So then under system, you'll need to find control center and then tap on that. And now if you tap back or you can swipe back also, you should see that one of your taps is set to control center. If you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up down below as it really helps this video and my channel and consider subscribing if you wanna learn more about your iPhone. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.